Welcome to the Mixed World Championship from Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Mass. 21 string match has gone to a 22nd due to a tiebreaker between Penny Lane, the defending champions, and Coca-Cola. Be a one string roll off total pinfall. Paul Grant, along with Greg Guia and Bob Lee, will get underway now from Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Mass. Brand new restaurant just opened up here on Friday. Amanda Carroll, lead off for Coca-Cola. And Gray Maine, lane 31 and 32. Ten thousand dollars on the line for the winning team. Five thousand for the runner-up. Top five get paid. We have the one, seven, eight, and ten. Mario, five, seven, ten. Wood to help. We're here because there was a tie for first place. That's the only tie we break with the one straight. Penny Lane lost two in a row at one point. Make it interesting. Amanda missed head pin and has the Augusta Main Special, the one, seven, ten. Even the bowling alley up there. Mario, 5 7 10. Got it! What a shot for Spare to start the championship match for $10,000. Amanda at 9. One pin lead for Penny Lane, the defending champs. Mario and Amanda are used to this big stage. Mario from Exeter, New Hampshire. Working the spare in lane 31. First is Amanda Carroll. Swinging her arms in rhythm on lane 32. Off to the left. That's the one, three, six, and the nine. Mario bounces it right. Four. 14 after one. Five pin lead for Penny Lane in the first box. One string round for $10,000. And the free tie at the end. Amanda Carroll. All right, the attack. Cash power behind me, though. Good try by Mario. Amanda for 10. That's a 9. 18 through 2. 40 or older. One of the best female balls with Maddie Kelly and Mario Johnson. 10 for Mario. 24 through 2. They take a 6 pin early lead. There is no part like Second ball is Maddie Kelly, defending champion of the women's money match with Mario Johnson. Aaron Merrill on the right for Coca Cola. Head pin. Breaks up the split. As the two, seven, five to the right, eight behind the two pin. Maddie Kelly, left hander from Stone and Mass. In the pocket. Seven, ten goal poles. Seen a lot of those today. Great wood to help. Aaron Merrill for spare. Missed the object pin. A game of milling inches sometimes. Maddie Kelly trying to kick it over. Looks good. Will it go? Yes, a spare. Ten of the ball through one. Harry Merrill on eight. Early even Penny Lane, 34 to 26. Plus the ball here from Maddie Kelly. Didn't look like it at first. Greg Guya, welcome to the championship match. Thank you, Paul. And welcome everyone watching live on Bowling Nerd Network and on YouTube and spreading introductions. Aaron Merrill goes left, has the one, three, six, and the eight. Aaron from Auburn, Maine, originally Gardner, Maine, one eleven average, high single one fifty eight, high triple four nineteen. Maddie's average one nineteen on the spare, three one split, has the four to the left, the three six to the right, sixteen after one. Aaron Merrill on the object, pair the wall, spare, pumps her fist. 18 the ball through two. What a start here in Haverhill, Academy Lanes. $10,000 on the line. Maddie's full. Again, check out the new restaurant and bar. Just opened up on Friday. Great looking bar. Plenty of space to sit and eat. Check it out. Academy Lanes, Route 125, Haverhill, Mass. The Bradford section. Maddie, and eight. 24 through two. So Greg, you update us on the scoreboard and the number of marks. 48 versus 36, and what started with 22 teams in a round drawn with format has brought us down to these two teams tied for first. We need a roll off string to determine the tiebreaker. And usually in the mixed world there is no playoff match, but only fitting these two teams going head to head. 5,000 for the runner up, 10,000 for the winning team. 
Here's Chris Harris, the Coca-Cola, closing the Friday Night Pro League for Union Street Lanes and Holbrook, Mass. Close left has the one, three, six, and the eight. Chris, 39 years old from Quincy, Mass. Originally to Dorchester, Mass. 118 league ball, the best average 129. Evan River on the left has a nine drop, has the four pins to the left. 72% chance for a pro ball is that wood for single pins. Stats provided by Spread Eagle Productions. If a great camera from bowling, subscribe free on YouTube to Spread Eagle Productions. That's Spread Eagle Productions YouTube. Evan takes a break, resets. Good thing to do. Sometimes you get a little anxious in these moments. It's good to reset, get your thoughts, your mind refocused. Like Al Johnson said, you get to block out all the distractions. For a spare, you missed it. Harris going for a 10 and gets a 9 to start. Driver, Paul Green special, missed the second, make the third, 10 after 1. 13 pin lead for Penny Lane, the defending champs, trying to make it two in a row. One string playoff for 10 grand. Penny Lane for the longest time had an undefeated streak going. 17 0 and lost two in a row. Came back and won the last couple. Back of five, big piece of wood for Chris Harris in lane 20, I'm sorry, lane 32 here in Haverhill. We've covered matches on the CV lanes. We've seen them both. We've seen how Driver. Explosive. Nice ball for strike nine. Nine pin left up. Great ball. See how explosive each side can be. Evans high single 193 is from Stone of Mass. 193 high single, high triple 497. Harris is open, just ahead pin. Evans high five, press of 797. Tim Matero has an 800 for a high five. Evans high 10, 1407. Look, oh no, good rod. Played low on the wood, wood deflected touch, away. Hard piece of wood sometimes. Evan Bowles out of extra lanes, extra New Hampshire. Nine for Chris Harris. 18 through two. Evan, nine. 19 through two. Update for always every two boxes from Greg Uya. 67 through the 54, one ball in hand for Aaron Merrill. Virtually they're down about six or seven in the match. Average spare for Pro Bowls, according to Spreading Collection Stats, is six and a half, 8.3 for a strike. Here's Josh Daly, 22 year older, left hander on lane 32 for Coca Cola. He's been the big stage last year, the U.S. Invitational in the semifinals through a 183, a 111, and a 184 for a whopping 478. It's high triple. Mike McGinty. It's four. Mike was huge yesterday, a double strike nine to finish up the match. To keep their undefeated streak alive at the time. Daly for spare, got it! Nice shot! Perfect play with the wood, the crowd goes wild! Count the ball through one. We just saw Team Coca Cola on the other lane. McGinty for spare! Oh, what a try! It's going back, we'll go! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Didn't hit it with the red line. Packed house here at Academy Lanes. Was 48 lanes down to 44th new restaurant. And 83 of you watching live on Bowling Nerd Network right now. Thank you all. Catch the rebroadcast on Spreading Productions later on tonight. That won't count. That's nine. Hit the wood in the gutter. Nine after one. If you, 12, 12 league. Hey, Greg. If you like the video, please like the video on whatever platform you're watching. See you on Facebook, Bowling Nerd Network, and YouTube, Spread Eagle Productions. Thank you. Josh Taylor from East Boston now in Danvers, Mass. Close to Sunnyside 2 in the Friday Night Pro League. They went to the second round. On the bonus, goes right. It's a bunch. Seven, the one, seven, and the nine. Three pieces of wood. 17 after one. This one string championship match for 10,000. McKinty, thin hit. Breaks it up, though. But lucky there. As the four on the left, ten to the right. Two pieces of wood. Jelly trying to kick it over. Just missed by a hair. Josh's high single 185, 123 league bowler. High triple 478 in that semifinal. US Invitational last year. High five of 732. High 10, 1274. High 20, 2447. Pulls at Central Park Lanes, East Boston Mass. Evan getting it. Mike McGinty getting advice from Evan Rive how to play the shot. Mike Bowles pretty, pretty shallow and forward. The try will go. Yes, what a shot. Wow, it's fair. 19 of the ball through two. Daly, now he gets it. All grand special, Mr. Second, makes the third, 27 through two. What a start. 10 grand on the line for the winner, 5,000 for the runner-up. The place is packed. 
Tremendous split by Mike McGinty. Five pin lead for the defending champions. Penny Lane. You and, said it again. And the mark situation is one to nothing also. The Penny Lane is one to one. One to one. One to one. Bob Wickham, future Hall of Fame, Pembroke Mass, 120 league bowler. On lane 32 here in Haverhill, Academy Lanes. Watch out two. Jimbo Ayotte, false start. Five yard penalty, three first down. <laughs> We get to your wow shorts help support candle pink cancer. Stick with Frank Luker for wow shirts. I know one thing. I wish I were good enough to identify when my slide was going wrong. A couple of false starts so far today. Ball slides left to right. Gets seven. Has the half wood to left. The two eight. The five to the right. One piece of wood. It's a good catch. A significant one. Gets him a chance with the side saddle triangle. Twenty percent chance for pro balls that would for half wood to conversions to spares. Will it go? Leading over almost. Seven pin left up, two pieces of wood. Hey, uh, with a spare. Ten of the ball. Tons of marks here in the first two. Wickham for a ten. Yes. Ten after one. Five pin lead still for Penny Lane. Two marks to one advantage now for them also. Bob Wickham, two years in a row, has been over 120 average. Amazing. High single 208, high triple 497. High five 757, high 10 1456. On the head pin, the pocket. It's a break. Has a 7-8, won't be easy, but good to help. Jimbo A on the spare. Head pin. Still rolling. 7-10 goal pulls. A lot of those today. 18 up to 1. Leads up to 13. Are Defending champs in the lead. Wickham trying to kick it over. It does. There we go. Yes. Spare in the second. 20 the ball through two. Jimbo Ayer from Lemster, New Hampshire. Average 119 for high. Another spare. He's got two in front of start. 28 in the ball through two. Eight fill, 10 bucks. Great start for Jimbo Ayer. Look at the score so far. 114 to 101. Definitely more than just 10 a box. And it's 2 to 1, right, for Harris, right? For Penny Lane. Top of the order, Amanda Carroll. 2 to 2 is confirmed. 18 through 2. Mario Johnson, the right, 24 through 2. Spare 4 and a 10. Amanda Carroll, the big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. Washburn left the one, two, four, and seven. Mario Johnson. Andy Carroll swinging those arms in rhythm. Off to the right, gets a break. Steals a couple more. Oh, dominoes. Seven pin left up. A sea of wood. That could be trouble sometimes. Tricky wood. It's all diagonal. She go right past that wood. She could go right past that wood. Sorry, Greg. Right past that wood in front. On left side. Mario for a spare. This is the one of the four. Huge crowd on hand here. Quick to thank the Canadian Bulls and the main Bulls coming down with those four to 14 hour drives. And the cow for a spare. Look, go. Oh, no. Try to get around that wood. She's mad. She knew she missed it. Want to go a little more left in that wood. Dicey angles no matter what, that's for sure. <laughs> Field goal for Mario. 20. Pick up 32 through 3. Amanda Carroll nudged and she hit the pin. It wouldn't go. Wow. How can you see that? <laughs> Got robbed by the wood and hit the pin. It still wouldn't go. I think there's flex seal on that one. <laughs> 27 through 3. Three nines. Penny Lane ahead by head. Two clear marks as it stands right now. You have 12 right now. Mario, 111 league bowler, 192 high single. 1997, rookie of the year. Off to the left, has the Clary. Mario on the Massachusetts State's team record of 1869 in 2005. 2011 ICBA champion, three-time ladies team world titles, four-time ladies international team title wins, 
and four-time mixed world team titles trying to get five today. Amanda had been a 3-2 split, 2-4-7 left, 6-10 to the right. Marius won two NICO champions as well, multiple New Hampshire and Massachusetts state titles, and a Can-Am runner-up, and a lot more. So you the first spare, chopped out the three. That's the one, eight, six, and ten to the right. And there's one in front as well. Three and two split is tougher, though. Amanda, good try. Only got one. Again, on object pin. Seems to be on object pin most of the time. Certainly in those fast two balls. I'll well, try to get a couple here. And missed everything. A six. 38 through 4. And you're trying to grab a couple here. Go for the short two at the wood and the right. One string match, those little gains could go a long way. $10,000 for the winning team, $5,000 for the top five got paid. Grabs the short two for an eight. 35 through 4. 10 pin lead for the defending champs, Penny Lane, looking for two years in a row to win. Coca Cola wants something else to do with that. 128 to 118. Mark situation, Greg. 2 to 2, still a 10 pin advantage. Maddie Kelly, 24 through 2, had a spare 8, spare 6 and 8, 24 through 2. Harry Merrill on the left, with a spare. Maddie Kelly, a strike! Harry Merrill, forced from right, the 1, 3, 6, and 10. 24 through 2. No doubt about Maddie Kelly. One of the best, and you now see why. Parents of Bobby, Mary Ann Kelly. Hey, that sounds familiar. She's won the 2019 ICBA Championship. Aaron, look, Mr. Draft. Maddie won a four bagger pool here at Academy Lanes in 2019. Eight for Aaron Merrill, 32 through three. Three marks to two now. Three marks to one, is it now? Three marks to one. Favorite Penny Lane, and they lead by six right now. Two bonus balls in lane 32. Check out the new restaurant here at Academy Lanes. Brand new. Spacious. Great looking. Great job by Ken and Josh DeBurrow here. Now, if you happen to walk in the door in the next few minutes, why not stop and watch this? On the strike. Right in the pocket for a double. Leading over. Let's go. Oh, yes. Great double strike. Wow. Aaron Merrill, six. Again, watch from right. The one, three, six, and ten. Crowd goes wild. 54 plus bonus balls, incredible. Twice in the force, which can't convert. That's the one in the six. Maddie Kelly could be in the 130s already if she gets a good Finney fill. Lane trying to get a statement here early on. Maryland next 10, 42 through four. Lead is 16, but tons of bonus balls coming up. Double strike fill for Maddie Kelly. Imagine that double strike fill. On average, that should be about 15 or so. 16 and a half, 16 and a half. Sure. 16.6, 8.3 average strike fill. That's why we're bowling yeah. guards. <laughs> Not me so much. In that respect. All right. Third bowl is now. Thirds are cool. Chris Harris on the left, the Coca Cola. 18 through 2, Evan Diver. 19 through 2 on the right for Penny Lane. Take it all 103, tuning into this decisive match. Difference of five grand. Aaron goes right past the post. Chris Harris has some big strings this year in the Friday Night Pro League. Has a triangle. Five to the right, two, four to the left. $10,000 on the line. 5000 for the runner-up. Evan. That's the high-low jack, the 1710 with Wood. Harris for a spare. Got it to go! He'll take it. Still unconventional bag. 28 the ball through, just do. the way he drew it up. Evan River in eight. 
27 through 3. Let's bring in Bob Lee. That's why Wood, Wood does some funny things behind a triangle. That's why we, you know, 45% is when there's no wood. And if you saw there, that's one of the reasons why uh, wood is a, a big help on those triangles and those uh, diamonds. Thank you, Bob. Have I marked a fourth pocket? What box is one string round? Break. Oh, 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 this is goal seven. And Evan turned around. Harris on the bonus seven. Tough lead here. The six ten to the right, five to the left. Thirty five to three. One string knockout for all the marbles. Ten grand to split the team. Five G's for the winner up. Driver for spare. Yes. <laughs> 28 in the ball. Correction, 37 in the ball through four. Following up on Maddie's double quite well. Harris for spare. Good try, right behind the five. Such a tough shot to make. Bulls are allowed to substitute for the first five boxes, but if you get a spare or a strike in the fifth, they cannot substitute then, so a lot of bowlers will switch up to four. Harris at nine. 44 through four. Update from Greg here on the score and the marks. Eight pins on paper for Penny Lane, but 15, 21, 27 pins on average should be the average. For great yeah, Canapin bowling, right, great Canapin bowling matches like these, subscribe free on YouTube, please, to Spread Eagle Productions. Help support the great game of Canapin bowling. It's Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube. Tell your friends and family about the great game of Canapin bowling. Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube. McGinty drops down nine yeah, on a spare, 28 through two, daily. A spare seven to ten as the four seven to ten. Looks like three pieces of wood from our vantage point. I sure hope subscriptions continue to be free, but you can't be too careful. Subscribe for more good bowling like this. Get you for a spare. Got it. Thirty-eight in the ball. Second one in the row. Daily can't get the go. McGinty thirty-eight. The ball through three. Saw Daly half expected to make it. He's made some wild shots, including in that final string we just saw on TV just before this. Mike McGid in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. The Bulls at Portsmouth Bowl around. Average around 125. High single 206. Daly at 10. Josh 37 through 3. Lead a 17 for the Penny Lane, the defending champs. Trying to make it two in a row. And they lead in the marks. A double strike plus three spares to one spare for Coca Cola. Plenty of time left, though. Mike's high triple 468, high 5 752, high 10 1366. On the bonus. In the pocket, strike! Strike on spare! Daly, good ball. That's the 510 moment discount. Mike McGinty, 48 through 3, 58 plus 2 through 4. Daly, got it! Nice shot! Pinball action there. 47 of the ball through four, second mark, and a spare seven in the first. Daly is so capable of getting something started when it's most needed. Great shot. 27 pin lead right now for Penny Lane. Yes, that Bob Whitcomb from TV of yesteryear and now still holding a high average and also capable. Jimbo AI on the right, working a spare, 28 in the ball. Bob Wickham on the, working on a spare on the left, lane 20, lane 30. Off the wall, eight as the two and the 10. 28 through two. Wickham on the bonus, thin hit, back of five. 25 through two. They got another one. Missed it, drove right by it. Took a wrong turn. Forgot the directional light. Wickham for a spare. Looks good. He's got it. He's got two in a row. Hey, uh, 10. 38. Make that 46 through three for Jim Ayot. Bob Wickham, 35 and a ball through three. Check marks and hay bales with a cluster of fives. He's been with about the same frequency according to our statistics here. Great shot by Bob to pull it off. Well, 31% for hay bales. All stats again provided by Spread Eagle Productions. Jimbo. 
Duck ahead pin, drills eight, nine. That's the four pin. Feel of it all, Channel 5 TV taping here today. Bob Wick won the bonus. Goes left, trying to get a break, does. Gets eight. That's the one and the eight. Won't be easy, but makeable. 43 through three. A lot of great Channel 5 legends posed for a group photo right now. Tom Olsen here this week. can catch his interview, his emotional interview. You know, on yesterday's match on Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube. It's a high single at natural, the 116. AR for spare, yes! 56 in the ball through four. Wickham for a spare. Can you pick it up? Off the wall, no. You try. But it's angled away towards the wall. The, the wood got in the way, I think, too, there. Yeah, ball went one way, pin the other. Tough break. Penny Lane went 17 0 and dropped two in a row and tied Coca Cola. Therefore, that's one string rollout for $10,000. Bob Wickham, a 9, 52 through 4. 52 through 4. Paul Grant, Greg Guya, and Bob Lee with you from Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Mass. You're watching the Mixed World Championship. Team Coca Cola against Team Penny Lanes. Whoa. Amanda Carroll trying to get a first mark. Moro Nelly, this stream's blowing up. And it's great candle connection if you want your friends Amanda to Carroll, know about this. Amanda Carroll, to the left. Oh. It's a break, has the one, three, and the seven. Sorry, Greg, one second. Mario, it's four. If you want your friends to know about it too, please share the video. This is promising to be a good one. Mario Johnson, 38 through four. Amanda, for a spare bid, nudged it, too thin. On Roger Penn, but not quite the way she wanted to hit it. Mario, good ball, look, go, oh, yes! Spare! 48, the ball, the emotional leader of the team, the Marcus Smart of their team. 48 in the ball through five. Lighting up the looks like a Christmas tree, all the way down. Amanda Carroll at 10, 45 half, trying to get on track here. Amanda, three-time ladies international champion, three-time ICBA champion, has several main state records. One of those coming when she was six and a half months pregnant. Holds the main state records for three, five, and 10 string ladies doubles. Off to the left has the Caleri. Mario Johnson, lane 31, on a spare. Off to the right. Five, the one, two, seven, nine, and ten. One piece of wood. This is a team that went undefeated for a long time. You're 50, seeing why. 53 half. And it's the record for the women's five string house record at Boulder Rama in Sanford, Maine. A 682. That 682 can sit, check this out. A 682 high five scores a 146, 138, 118, 136, and 144 in April of 2013. Wait for the balls to return here. It was the women's house record of high five at 683 at the Big 20 Bowling Center in Scarborough, Maine. She has the women's house records at Newport Entertainment Center in Newport, Maine for a high single of 171, a high triple of 454, high five of 703, and a high 10 of 1302. And she owns the main, women's main state doubles record of 2509 with her doubles partner for 30 years, Brooke Betteridge. And they're bowling together on the women's doubles event, September 10th, extra lanes. Ladies, we want a bowl. Six more teams needed. 10 o'clock shift. Extra lanes, women's double event, September 10th. Thanks, everyone, for liking and sharing the video. And thank you, everyone, for commenting as well. We see you, Adam, Richie. Good to see you. And special for you, Maddie Kelly on a double strike. Mario has to make a big difference in this match. Mario Johnson, 1997, rookie of the year, 2005 on the Massachusetts State team record, 1869, 2011 ICBA champion, three times Lady World team titles, four times Lady International team wins, and it goes on. Four time mixed worlds team titles, looking for five now, second in a row, two time Nico champion, multiple New Hampshire and Massachusetts state titles, and a can and runner up. As we're back to action now. Balls cascaded out of the return. We're ready to return to action. And try to get a first mark. Missed the object pin. That's the one in the eight. Mario off to the right. Steals a bunch. Leaves up the ten pin.
Andrew an eight. So 53 through six. Mario a nine. Make that 62 through six. Updating the score and the marks for Greg Guia. 267, 238. He marks including a double for Maddie Kelly. Here it comes. 29 pin lead for Penny Lane. Thank you to everyone commenting from Canada. And thank you to all the bowlers who came in from all over. It's great, great to see Kevin Lock, Jill Wood, people like that, like people from up north. Matt Arnett as we're trying to name everyone. Aaron Merrill, 42 through four. Maddie Kelly working a double strike. She had won the women's money match. Helped them win that match. It was 637, five stringer. On the double, goes right, gets four. 24 in that first box. 10 plus another ball here. Aaron Merrill off to the right. This is the one, three, and the eight. 24 on the first strike. That's how it looks now. For another walk, almost. She caught a piece of that head pin. Almost a spear and a double strike. Aaron Merrill a nine. Almost no fit. 51 half. Maddie Kelly a 10. She's all the way from a 24 through two, all the way up to a 77 half. 48 through 3, 67 through 4, the double strike fills, 77 half, insane. Big time money bowler. Aaron Mello goes right, it's 3. Aaron bowls are the stars and strikes in Paris, South Paris, Maine. 158 high single, high triple 419. Maddie back in the head pin, breaks up the split, that's the 3, 6, 10. Aaron Merrill's high triple again, 419, high 5, 620, high 10 of 1221. ICBA championship in 2021. Still falling. Train must have went by. Janet, Ron, Murdoch, and everyone looking on. Oh, she got to go for a spare. What a string, 87 of ball through six. Aaron Merrill, a nine. 60 through 6. It's a 53 pin, 44 pin lead. But Penny Lane trying to go two years in a row with the title. That's got everyone buzzing. Do not count Coca Cola out. Both teams stacked with great talent and a bunch of Hall of Famers. Or should be Hall of Famers. Craig Holbrook in there, not blowing this round. Chris Harris right in the pocket. He's been huge in the Friday Night Pro League. It's seven, triangle to six, nine to 10. 44 is first four. Evan River on the left, lane 31, working on a spare, 37 of the ball. Right in the pocket, seven, three, five in the 10, three pieces of wood, 44 through four. Oh, two more go, make it a nine. <coughs> 46 through four. Mary Ann's watching, she wouldn't have missed this for the world. Harris won't go. Wouldn't have missed the worlds for the world. That's crazy. World tournament coming to Havel here at Academy Lanes this November, Veterans Day week. Evan picks up another spare. Two in a row. 56 half plus a ball. Harris, 10, 54 half. Penny Lane pouring it on here. One string knockout for $10,000, 5,000 for the runner up. Yeah. Mixed World National Championships from Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Mass. Main Street, Route 125. Check out the new restaurant bar. Beautiful looking place. Tip of the cap to owner Ted and his son, Josh DeBro, doing a great job helping out here in the front of the tournament. Harris for strike! Which circled around the six pin. Great ownership makes a big difference in the development of this game. Thank Absolute, you to Academy absolute, for being great hosts. Absolutely. Evan. Driver on a spare in the pocket. 2 2 split. The 4 7 left. Two pieces of wood. 6 10 on the right. 62 half. Harris for a spare. Get it. 64 and a ball through six. Sound bowling right the way down. Maddie Kelly's double looming over. Oh, what a shot for Spare! Incredible! Way! Wow! Way left on the red line. Sweep it over. Thank you very much. Living on the edge. Gives a whole new meaning. 72 and a ball through six. 
Penny Lane on fire here at Haverhill. Quintessential example of a great team feeding off each other. Firing on all cylinders. Josh Taylor on a spare in lane 32. Coca Cola 47 the ball. Bounce to the right. Eight has the five and seven. 55 through four. Mike McGinty working on a strike on lane 31 for double. Had one yesterday. 5 10 more with discount. Back when things were 5 and 10 cents. Daily for spare. Yes! Nice shot off the wall. Yep. 65 of the ball through 5. It's a matter of time before we saw that dominant side of Josh Daly show up. McGinty trying to kick it over. Good try. 8 in the strike. 66 through 4. He's had some struggles in this tournament, but going great he had this strike. That's the eighth that time. 74 half. McGinty Magic. You don't see 70 halves every time. Josh Daly last year, New Hampshire State singles winner, New Hampshire State's all events winner, ICBA champion, won a leader lane's 10 stringer, won the US Invitational Singles Knockout winner. Invitational uh, high average of 125 in the U.S. Invitational Team Tournament with Prices Wood Flooring. Again, that 183, 111, 184 memorable 478 semifinal series. Teammates consist of Tim Matero, who threw a 153 in that first string championship last year at a 395. Evan River, Neat Lees, Lori Lewis, Steve Latch, Cole Fry, Mike McGinty, and T.J. DePretro on a winning team for Prices Wood Flooring. to have everyone back and have the worlds truly be word worlds we weren't sure earlier this decade when we'd get the chance to do something wonderful like this again mike mcginty in 2019 won the pro series doubles title with josh daly they went seven for seven in the knockout round he was also again part of that 2021 prices with flooring team that won mike's high single 206 as we're back to action now <laughs> Josh pulled the Atlantic Handle in singles 12 this year, the number two seed. Just 22 years old, a young 22 years old. Can't wait to see what he's like in five years. Untapped potential still. Bowling at a high level now. A lot of great balls coming up in the ranks. John, uh, Charlie Collins, the Terminator, 21. Bowling great. Aaron St. Cyr also. Daly, back door, it's eight. That's the seven and the nine, Wood to help. Big time. On the spare, on the 73 half. Good advice how to play it from Bob Wickham. McKinty right in the pocket. Gets the seven to go, no. It's the five. It's like the five, seven from my point at Brandon Twain. Daily for a spare, missed the object, Wood. He hit the wood, but he wanted to go more right, I believe. Oh, sounding smack on that red line as he hit the wood. Hit the Bob Lee delivery. radar gun here for this shit. Blue breeze. McGinty trying to kick it over. Ooh, feel the breeze back here. Does the Michael Jackson moonwalk. 10 for Daly. 83 through 6. What a string he's having. McGinty, 8, wasn't there. 82 through 6. Shootout here in Haverhill at Academy Lanes, the Mixed World Championship. A sudden victory shootout. Playoff tiebreaker. 47 pin lead. So to recap, this is the 22 team round robin. These three tied for the top, and that tiebreaker is broken by a one string roll off. $5,000 prize difference. 10000 and 5000 first and second. Three marks to one advantage for Penny Lane, plus their 47 pin lead. Bob Wickham, 52 through four. In the pocket. It's nine. That's the three pin. Jimbo Ayotte on the left in lane 31, working on a spare. 56 in the ball through four. Right in the pocket, seven, eight. As the five to the right, the eight to the left, one piece of wood, 64 through four. Almost fell diagonally back. Mike's a five-time Pro Series winner. Spare for Whitcomb, 62 half plus one. Ayotte bounced it. He's up the eight pin. Jimbo Ayotte, the 2014-15 Bowler of the Year, three-time New Hampshire State's AF champ champion, 
two-time mixed world champion, trying to make it three here. It's a 10. 74 half. Another 70 plus half. Friday Night Pro League title as well. Friday Night Pro League playoff title for him as well. Well, oh, Paul, I know they're playing two at a time, but if you look down the, at the half for uh, Penny Lane, they just threw up a uh, 338 pack. That's amazing. Bobby Wickham on a spare. Can use a big one here. A quarter. Oh. West of Yikes. You're going to be kidding me. Par for a half would be 200 versus that 338. Tough break, 63 half. Hey, on in the pocket for a strike. Nine. Seven pin left up. Three pieces of wood. That's just assuming you get 10 a box, obviously. Bob trying to bounce back. Oh, he got it! What a shot for Spare! Wow! Hey, I can't get to go. Eight out of nine, 83 through six. Bob Wickham, 73 and a ball through six. Four boxes to go for each bowler. Academy Lane's Haverhill Mass, the Mixed World Championship. Along with Bob Lee, Greg Gouy, I'm Paul Grant. Thrilled to be with you. For great cannibal bowling like this, please subscribe on YouTube. There's Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube. It's free. Spread Eagle Productions. Watch all the matches uploaded on Spread Eagle Productions. The last two days are already uploaded on there. Thanks also to our special contributors, Dan Esdale, Anthony Karen. Kevin Burns. Thank you for all your help. And thanks for supporting the great game of Cannibal Bowling. Mario Johnson, 62 through 6 open, has the four horsemen plus the nine and the ten, one piece of wood. Amanda Carroll, 53 through 6, looking for a first mark on lane 31. In the pocket, seven. Triangle, the, six, the four, the seven, and the eight to the right, one piece of wood. Mario goes left, he's at the one and the ten, almost slid into the gutter. Amanda for spare, hooked it left. Mario, nine. 71 through 7, Amanda and Carol at 9, 62 through 7. I'm not sure if we've ever had this popular a Bowling Nerd Network live stream, not in a long time at le the very least. Great to see you all. Amanda Carroll is a woman's house record at Newport Entertainment Center in Newport, Maine for a high single of 171, high triple of 454, and a high 5 of 703, plus a high 10 of 1302. Her high triple of 464, Mario gets 6. Including strings of 150, 133, and 173 on February 3rd, 2013. In the pocket, can't break up the seven pin, has the three six in the right. Thirty-six percent chance to convert for bowls that one. Oh, right, the ten pin. Horseman gets three for. 10 pin leave. And to try and kick it over. What a shot! Oh, good try! That wood was halfway across the back row, and another piece of wood stopped it. Her 682 score consists of a 146, 138, 118, 136, 144, April 2013. Struggling here in the string. Mario with a 9, 80 through 6. Correction, 80 through 8. And Mando with a 10, just 72 through 8. Maddie Kelly had a double strike earlier this string. 87 through 6, open here on lane 32 in Haverhill. Lost this. Aaron Merrill, 60 through 6, trying to get on track here at a spare 6 in the second. This tournament, this tournament already was the best of the best. We're down to the best. It's, only, best it's best. only fitting that these that these two of these teams are, are bowling each other head to head. Win or lose, uh, just a great finale to this. Brave and it heads up. Tap, hit, tap, tip the captain eight leads running this event. We all win certainly. 
Mary Merrill, 2 1 split, just like Amanda shot. 3 6 in the 7. So, Maddie Kelly, 2 4 7. In the 10th, the right two pieces of white, Greg? Sorry, I interrupt. I just saying we saw Nate and his team price switch flooring in the last string as well. Thanks to Nate for all his work with us. He was part of that 2021 U.S. Invitational Championship. Maddie trying to kick it over. Looks good, almost. Aaron, wide right. Maddie a nine. Found the gap. At six, he'll give it 93 through six. He's at 102 through seven. Incredible. Ninth, Aaron Merrill, 69 through seven. Aaron Merrill, the ICBA championship in 21, 2021 winner. Cole, he's get some marks going here. Maddie off to the left. He has one, has the one, six, and ten. Some wood to help. Mary Merrill. It's five, make it six, has the diamond. Center diamond. 58 pin lead for Penny Lane. Maddie Kelly could try. And a tsunami of marks for Penny Lane. Mary right, Merrill gets it to go. Needed that one. 79 of the ball through eight. Maddie Kelly. 10, 1, 12 through 8. What a string. We've seen a lot of stubborn kingpins all tournament long here at Academy Lanes. A tough but fair house. Let's bring in Bob Lee here for a second. Bob, thoughts well, of the match so far? I mean, that first half was something. I, I, I was just telling you, the 538, I mean, <laughs> sorry, the 338, which trends to a 770. I'm sorry, 675 or something like that. And, and that's the difference so far. You're going to have to see something similar from Coca Cola. Both balls on Spears. Evan Ryder on the right, 72 to ball through six. Left side, Chris Harris from Coca Cola, 64 to ball through six. $10,000 championship match here on the line. $5,000 to run around. On the ball, strike on Spear. 74 through six, 84 plus two through seven. Harris, only three. 67 through six. Penny Lane dominating, looking for two mixed titles in a row. World Championships. Harris, the one, four, seven, and the nine. Evans High single, 193, high triple, 497. Eight for Chris Harris. 75 through seven. The lead is ballooned to 67 for Penny Lane. Not impossible, but Mario two spares. Looking good. Maddie Kelly, two strikes, two spares. Ryan with two spares and a strike. Ginty, spare strike. Three spares for Jimbo. 92 plus 2 here for 7. Evan River on lane 32 from Academy Lane, Sable Mass, Route 125. Head pin. 2 1 split. Wood to help. The 2 4 and the 10 to the right. Working on a strike. Evan has two pro series wins. Doubles tell with Metro Bowl. Harris had been hit. Half west to right, the 3 9, the 5 to the left. Wood in between. This is a single knockout title and whooping ball drum, whooping mass also. Evan trying to kick it over. Just the object pin came back. <laughs> Woods rolling the 10, but I think it's not going to get there in time. Nine in the strike, though. Harris won't go. No break. What led to either side of that? Evan strike field gives him 101 from 7, 10, 1, 11 through 8. They are peaking at the right time in the championship match. I'm going to get the score right here, folks. Here Chris we are. Harris a 9. 84 through 8. A little bit of a fumble on my end, but there we are. 468 to 391. 77 pin lead for Penny Lane. Crushing it here in the championship match. Cole is giving it their all. Top five teams out of 21 get paid. One for 10,000, one for 5,000 here. It's a strike excitement. Penny Lee doesn't have a mark on the board. McGinty, half was to left. And that's my least favorite shot. Josh Daly, 83 through 6 open. Mike McGinty's 82 through 
six, both the six boxes open. Haley with the wood to help, the one, the six, and the ten. And Kitty, that's the ball, grand shot, right in the hole. Every pin now on the third ball. Haley needs a spare, just ahead pin. And holds his hands to his head. McGinty, big out, does. Nice eight. 90 through seven, daily a 10. 93 through seven. Lead is 75. Penny Lane trying to defend the mixed doubles title. Could have been a lot less without that McGinty third ball. More than half the pins on that third. And Tim Material have bragging rights over Calvin Locke in the Rip and Rack podcast. Schedule records tonight will be tomorrow night now instead of the Mixed Worlds. Can't wait to hear that one. Rip that pocket. McGinty a strike! McGinty magic! 100 plus 2 through 8. Daily, 2 1 split. When it rains, it pours. This is how good they are. Daly is 23 over. He's wishing he had more. He feels he could have had more. Josh gets two. He's up the six pin. And he half expects to make circus shots like that. Penny Lane can't do anything wrong. Daly a nine. 102 through it. To help Al Johnson's Candle Fits for Cancer, I'm asking each bowler to donate $1 to Al Johnson's Candle Fits for Cancer. For every lemon drop you get, that's the four pin on the left or the six pin on the right on the first ball. Please help support in a fun way Al Johnson's Candle Fits for Cancer, $1 lemon drop pool. You can Venmo or pay cash your league secretary, give it to Al Johnson directly. We've got the pin out front, and a lot of money has been going to a great cause for bowlers. And their families afflicted, it's certainly at least financially, by this disease. Jimbo Ayotte has the 6'10. Two pinners come about 51% the pro bowl is that wood. Wood come on a spare, gets five. 80, they got 78 through six. Ayotte's 83 through six coming in. Thank you, Ian, John, Brandon, and Corey in the comments. Spare for Ayotte. 93 and a ball through seven. Try by Bobby Wickham, won't go. And anyone else I may have missed. Bobby, to keep track of Thank you so much, everyone. Jimbo A from Leinster, New Hampshire, 119 average, 128 career high. Goes out of Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire, and Academy Lanes here at Abel Mass. Wickham at nine. Bobby's at 87 for seven. All these matches on Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube. In 10 say the sixth day, Bob will level later on tonight, including this bonus seventh match. Please subscribe free on YouTube to Spread Eagle Productions. And please support all the podcasts, Ripping the Rap Podcast, Can't Open Corner, and The Approach with Danny Finn and Jeremy Seal. Live broadcast tonight around 9 o'clock with Corey Alisi and Jordan Britton to talk about this tournament as well. Bob drills down eight, has the two and the four. Jimbo checking in with the crew how to play it. The two to the left, triangle right corner, six, nine, and ten. Bob Wickham has won Mixed World title, won Easter Sunday Classic title in 2002. Two men World Championships in 1998 and 2008. Another spare for Ayotte. Wickham with a spare. 97 of the ball through eight. Ayotte, 109 of the ball through eight. Unbelievable. They are, they are trending to a you know, the, the high, the high single for any team this, in this whole tournament was 648 for Stars and Strikes, and they're headed there that way. Andy Carroll, top of the order. He's a strike, and there it is. First mark, 82 plus two. Mario bounces it. Gets five. 80 through eight for her coming in here. Kick it over, looks good. Won't carry. Four, seven left. Ten to the right. One piece of wood. All right, gets the short two for a nine. nine 89 through nine. 
Mari won the Junior ICBA Champion. She has the record holder at all events at 15-15 as the Massachusetts Ladies Team record holder also. Enjoys golfing and bowling. Nine boxes left. And you're on the strike. One, two, nine, and ten. One piece of wood. Mario, hit, pin, hit. Gets a bunch, steals a strike. Everything is going just their way. Even the best don't mind a little bit of fortune. You could just breathe in the pins, they'll fall down. Carol's got a weird leap here because she's got that inner pin. It's going to make it difficult. 99 plus 2 for Mario Johnson. And to Carol, second ball, the strike. Oh, what a shot! Wow, a spare strike! 92 through 9, 102 in the ball in the 10th. Huge finish against a tough leap. Just turned 40 recently. Still. Three, three ladies here, some of the best bowlers, Maddie, Mario, and Amanda, right here together. How much match? How much money do you want to lay on a Mario double? Amanda on a strike. Half was to right. That's the way it's been going. Coca Cola. If you bet a double strike, you lost. <laughs> One, three, eight, and nine. Fourth minute strike. Amanda finishes up with a 104. Okay. So. Mario, nice ball. Spare on strike to finish 109. Eight boxes to go. $10,000. Looking good here for Penny Lane. 5000 And a shiny trophy with all the plaques of all the past champions. We're going to talk to the winning team before we sign off afterwards, too. Aaron Merrill on a spare, 79 to the ball, gets six, has the one, three, four, seven to the left. 85 to eight. Maddie Kelly, double strike in the string. 112 to eight, open here. Gets five. Parallel pins in the middle, the one, five to the right. To the left is the two and the eight, left is the seven pin. Aaron's open with the one, four, and seven. Maddie Kelly, all but the five pin, good bid. Aaron Bulls are the stars and strikes in South Paris, Maine. Russ Kelly Jr., the owner, his father of Russ Kelly Sr., is in the Kellipin Hall of Fame. Aaron Merrill is 7, 92 to 9. Maddie Kelly at 10, 122 to 9. Maddie Kelly, once again, like the women's money match, stepping up big. At 637, match you can watch on Spread Eagle Productions. Highest rated show at the time it came out on Spread Eagle Productions. And probably lots more videos. It was a, clo it was a close match. So, you know, a little broke away the last few boxes, but it was close for most of the match. Seven from Merrill there. Maddie Kelly gets eight, has the two to the left, the six to the right. Wood to help. Aaron looking at the three, five, and the ten, two pieces of wood. Seven in the fill, 99 through eight. from all generations coming together. What a treat. Now for Spare, yes. Spare in the 10th. 102 in the ball. Maddie Kelly missed the object pin. And the wood got snagged in the channel, otherwise it could have rolled back. The way they've been bowling, it probably would have gone. Probably didn't, didn't go. 10. 132 for Maddie Kelly. Clutch in the championship match. $10,000, looking really good here. Not official yet. Aaron with the bonus, nine. Strong finish, 111. Aaron Merrill. From Auburn, Maine. And the tip of the cap, the Stars and Strikes bowling at the center as well. You're going up there. Later this summer or fall to a match up there. Looking forward to that. Chris Harris. 84 rates open as the 247. Evan Rive on the left of lane 31. Academy Leeds in April. 111 through 8 is open. Head pin. Still going. Old post 710. 
Chris Harris for a spare, yes. 94 and a ball in the ninth. We're gonna check that wood here. Bob, what your thoughts on the match here? Well, I was just tallying up the scores and seeing uh, 561 with six to play for uh, Penny Lane, and uh, they got they still have working on a strike and a spare. They're fig they're already trending to six thirty five. They get another couple of marks. They're gonna they're gonna break the tournament single record. That would be a, a fitting way to go out. Uh, so six forty eight. That would. Thank you, Bob Lee. And Greg, thank you for all your help this weekend. Doing a great job as always. And you, Paul. Oh, what a shot! That's a I spare. Have a, I have a continuing. 121 through 9. Not too often you see all five balls, four or five balls pouring on like this. This is by my count, I think, the 232nd match we've seen under this roof here at Academy Lane Table. This could be the biggest one yet for Penny. Chris Harris, 3 on the spare, 97 through 9. Nine on the spare. How do you let see ya? What can't they do? Harris open with a three and the six. Evan Riva, 130 to nine. 72% chance to convert. And he got it. 140 to ball in the 10th. Dodging the wood in the channel. Harris a nine. 106. Everybody's going to be triple digits. What fantastic bowling across the board. And thank you to everyone who put our stream into triple digits as well. And Much please subscribe to Spread Eagle Productions YouTube. Kevin River, nine. What a performance. 149. For Evan River, what a string. Strike and a spare coming out of the eighth. That's Josh Tilly. You're looking at another 50, 50 or so points. Josh Tilly, 102 through eight. Thank you, Bob. Open. Close right, half whisker. Mike McGinty working a strike. 100 plus two. We'll talk to the winning team out. McGinty, eight. That's nine and ten. What the hell? Billy goes left. He's up four. McGinty a nine on the strike though. 109 through eight. Bailey at eight. Josh is at 110 through nine. Mike McGinty, 119 through nine. Just an incredible performance by Penny Lane. There Two right. mixed championship tight world titles in a row. Back to back years. Daly gets seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. Domino's delivers in the tenth. A late delivery. 120 plus two. Ball for pride now. And he punches out one. 648 is the tournament record. They're close. Kinti a seven, 126, two boxes to go on the match. Josh Kelly first working to strike. And Bobby Wickham and Jimbo A. will close it out. Bobby on a spare coming up, 97 of the ball. Daly in the strike. He's up the one, seven, nine, and ten. Two, three pieces of wood. He gets a seven for a 127 championship round string. What stopped it from going into the back row? Could have easily been 130. Final two boxes in the match. Bob Wickham on the bonus. Bowling for pride here. Sixth, one, two, four in the 10, two pieces of wood. 103 through eight. Jimbo AI on the spare. Six, 115 to eight has the two, four, 610 on the right. Bob Whitcomb had the most points in this year's Pro Series. 
Pro Bowl of the year, that's right. Hall of Fame eligible next year, deservingly so. Runner up today, legend forever. Right in the hole. It's one. Whitcomb, seven. One box to go, 110 through nine. They got nine. 124 through nine. Bob, what's the high series you said? It's 648. Let me. They got it there, 649. Is that 640? No, 640. Right, so they need 10. They need nine, nine, to, nine to set the, the season high for, for a team. 648, you said, right? Yep. Okay. Eight to tie, nine to nine. Wake up. Just for the heck of it. One, three, seven, and ten. Hey, Ot. Seven. Nearly. Here's the triangle, 45% without wood. Conversion rate. The five to the left, three, six to the right. Wake up. Oh, nice shot for a spare. Going out in style, 120 of all in the tenth. The amazing thing about Bob Wickham, I love, is he's got, hey, I doesn't get it. 32 years straight with a 120 league average or higher. Incredible. Dax ball by Jimbo Ayo just put them at 649. You beat it by one pin. The tournament record at the biggest moment. And gets a nine. 133. 649 series for Penny Lane. They win two years in a row. The mixed world title. Wickham is seven. 127. The final score. Greg Frio, what's the final score? 649 to 575. The crowd appreciates it. They go wild. Let's go talk to the winning team. Congratulations, Penny Lane. Guys, both awesome. Craig Holbrook. Yes. Great, great run for your team, by the way. We did. We made it all the way to the extra. Five thousand dollars isn't too bad, though. No, it is. Congratulations. No, second. Team gave you your best. Just felt they just. Oh, this, we're we're just a better team yeah. that round. Congratulations, job, you guys. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for mentoring the kids too. Yep. I'm gonna talk to uh, Penny Lane here in a moment. Evan Riva. Oh, not me. Yeah. Oh, God. Great job, bowling. Evan, 149. Oh. Saving your best for last, huh? That was your best score of the tournament, yeah. too, wasn't it? Probably my high string ever, Paul, I'll tell you. 149. That was incredible. Oh, crazy. Hey. What'd you get? What'd you... Give me a hug, fuck it. <laughs> Good job, man. Great job. Great job. What was in the Kool Aid? You guys just on fire. Six, that was a tournament record, 649. Yeah, we got a little bit down losing two in a row, but we came back. You know, we our team motto was have fun. What? That's, oh, that's all we care about. Great Tom also said the interview Great with him. Just instead of getting stressed out over a bad ball, bad box, bad string, just relax, have fun. Mm, absolutely, that was our team motto. We just we gel as a team, and it was just we had so much fun. I, I love this team. I absolutely love this and team. And what do you got to say about winning two world mixed team titles in a row? What do you got to say? It's crazy. One word to sum it up. Uh, last year they said it was a fluke, so we had to prove it this year. Okay. But Congratulations. Thank you. All right. Thank it. you everybody for coming. Jimbo Ayotte. Thanks for having me. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Winning. First, before we do anything, I just want to say thank so, you. So that's going to be it for now. Bob uh, Lee, Greg Lugia, thank you for helping out. Paul Grant saying so long for now. Penny Lane has won their second uh, title, the Mixed World Championship from Haverhill, Mass. Academy Lanes. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube. Thank you for watching. So long for now. <laughs>